Hi everybody, it's Irene with Brainstorm Makers, and this afternoon I get to do one of my very favorite things. Now for those of you who have been sort of following along a little bit, this bed here is an old flower bed it had a few herbs in it and not a lot much else except for weeds and over the last oof, couple of weeks several weeks <laughs> probably four weeks <laughs> i have gradually been clearing it out uh, it is now what we call an armored bed that means there's hardware cloth under the bottom and, uh, and blocks on the edge holding the hardware cloth down and obviously the foundation on the other wall and that means that theoretically, the gophers should not be able to get in here. Now, our positive news was this week was that Issa got her first gopher last night. <laughs> she has been trying for months, if not years, to get a gopher. And last night, I saw her stalking something and I assumed it was probably a grasshopper or something else silly like that but something made me go watch her she you know did the butt, butt wiggle and the whole thing and then she did it a couple times and then she pounced and crammed her left forearm down this gopher hole fished around like crazy and flipped this gopher I swear a foot in the air anyway so I am going to plant. I have plants that came from my house tools 162. You can spot those right away. <laughs> and then I have regular plants. Uh, I've got, let's see, three pak choy. Let's just get those in here. This bed here has been underway for, I think I mentioned, I think earlier, I got before my telephone call came in, uh, like four weeks. Really pleased with it. We'll see, we'll, we'll see how pleased I am in the long run, of course, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this, this is gonna work, so. And this is pop choy. These all were started. Um, well, the, the, anything in a 162 was started in the greenhouse. But we had germination problems in there again. And so now everything is being started in the house temporarily. Just didn't want to risk any more things going wrong. So this is pak choy. This is Atlantis, which is a mini broccoli. Let me give the, I only mean, have two of those so far, but I've got more currently sprouting in the dining room <laughs> because that makes sense as much sense as anything else around here does this stuff is supposed to be super heat resistant and if ever there was a test of that it would be this year so far because it has just been freaking hot which is very annoying all right and then we have Tarek. Now I'm going to plant Tarek right next to it. Tarek is a kohlrabi and it has a pretty upright habit. And also it will be harvested quickly. So these will harvest out fairly quickly. These will harvest out fairly quickly. So if these guys need more space, they can have it. So Tarek, I have several of these plants. Uh, these are obviously out of a 162. Grown a lot of this kohlrabi in the greenhouse this winter. We're still eating it out of the greenhouse, but it's time to move the plants out of there because it's getting too hot in there for them to be comfortable. I'm going to have to stick a thing here. Just in case my brain falls out, I'll know what they are actually. They have a distinctive leaf, although they're cabbagey looking. 
they have a distinctive leaf. Clump. This is sort of awkward. <laughs> I'm hoping eventually to get some stone set onto the top of these blocks. We'll see. I've been promising myself I'll do that for like five years in other parts of the garden. And it hasn't happened. But it's always that. I do have a saw to do it now, which helps. <laughs> but the time may be another issue. Okay. I know some people plant their kohlrabis much more closely. Um, I'm going to try the spacing and see how it works. <clears throat> we may find that in the future we can space it out farther and be happy with the results. So, and I just have the right number. How convenient. <laughs> The nice thing about these is if we, by some bizarre chance we were to have unusually cold weather, which, you know, it ain't over till it's over, so you never know. Our last uh, frost date is not until May 15th. And as everyone knows, frost dates are never written in cement. They're always written in jello. Uh, frost dates are simply statistics. And that means that statistically, 80% of the time, your last frost date will be safe. <laughs> but there's 20% <laughs> chance. There we go. Now, so we have Pak Choi. We have two Atlantis, which is mini broccolis. We have Tarek, which is kohlrabi. And I have an emerald, which is a Broccoli, because, <laughs> woo, didn't think of what they called it for a minute there. Yeah, there we go. Now, I am going to water these good. I'm going to see if I have any, any uh, decent uh, mulch. I would like to mulch these, but we'll see. So hopefully this inspires you to start some stuff inside and get it out there. Uh, I am very excited. I have been waiting for this for days. A couple of these were really root bound, but I, when I pulled them out, the roots were out at the bottom of the pots. And that's why I had checked like yesterday and again, and I said, oh, I have to get these out. Of course I said that the day before too, but I just ran out of day as usual. But now we're making it happen and that's all that matters. So you too can make it happen. Be sure to like, hit that subscription bell and that notification bell so that you know what we're doing because we got lots more to do. So until next time, stay safe, have a great week, bye.